Hey, here is the LED jacket that I made for Burning Man. This is my latest project and I'll start with a quick demo. This program is called Fruit Salad. And let's try Mr. Pink. This one's called Banana Split. Another nice feature that this jacket has is that some of its um, animations can react to music. There's a little microphone here that can sense the level of the audio and control the LEDs accordingly. So let's give it a try. So let me show you how the controller works. So let me show you how this thing works and how I built it. So first of all, the jacket itself, uh, I've, uh, I sawed it myself. Um, I copied the pattern from an existing jacket that I liked and this is like by far my most complicated uh, sewing project ever. Um, I cut the pieces um, out of both uh, felt with, uh, that has this little glitter on it and fleece uh, for the internal layer. So it's two layers. There's a nice hoodie here. And if I open it, oh, there's a zipper too, which is also pretty fancy compared to what I can do with sewing normally. Um, and on the inside, it's pretty clean. So uh, I did it like that both so it's nice and warm and also so that I don't have a lot of wiring um, annoying me here. Um, everything can be uh, detached in order to uh, allow me to wash the jacket if I want to. So first of all, the layers are attached with Velcro. And all the electronics go on the inside. And then all the electronics also are attached with uh, Velcro. So for example, this is one LED. Uh, the LED board itself has some uh, male Velcro on it. And then there's a female Velcro attached to the uh, felt. And then it's easy to attach and detach. Um, power system, I have uh, two, two cell LiPos uh, for a total of a 4S pack. Uh, this is just a, a power gauge, uh, this is a DC-DC converter and this is the LED chain, it's starting from the battery and it goes all the way through the jacket until eventually it ends here uh, in the controller board that I'm going to take out in a second and show. Each one of the LEDs are also special, so they are not just, um, the LEDs are not just LEDs. Uh, each one of them is a module that I designed myself. Uh, this is what one of them looks like. Uh, it has the LED on one side and all the driving circuitry on the other side. So these LEDs are 3 watts each, which is pretty strong. Like It's about 100 times more power um, compared to normal LEDs that you uh, may use. And it's built in such a way so that they can be daisy chained. So there is um, power ground and data in, power ground and data out. And you can just make them into a chain so you don't have to run individual wires to each and every one of them. The controller eventually just hooks up to um, the um, serial data line and just drives um, each one of them individually with that. The um, serial protocol that these guys use is very similar to uh, the WS28 series LEDs, also known as uh, NeoPixel. So the exact same idea. Um, each one of these modules uh, will take its own co color data from the serial input and then echo back to the rest of the chain their color data. The LED board is the first of three um, custom uh, printed circuit boards that I designed for this project. Um, this one I replicated 48 times for um, all the LEDs in the jacket. Uh, the second one is the DC-DC converter that takes the 16 volt uh, LiPo voltage and converts it to 5 volts at 5 amps to drive all the LEDs. This means that I can um, turn on 
up to five LEDs at full power at any given time. And the third board is the controller board. So this is the controller board taken out of the uh, jacket. What we see on the front side, there is uh, an OLED display. It's a uh, white uh, 128 by 32 pixels. Pretty easy to control uh, through a spy bus. Um, there is a rotary encoder and a push button. So this is uh, fairly nice. It's very similar to what you probably have in your car radio. And there is a little microphone here that's used for all the um, inter music interactive um, animations. On the back side of the board are the actual guts of the system. In the heart of the system there is a PIC24 microcontroller. Um, on this side here there is some analog circuitry that does the volume envelope extraction from the signal that the microphone picks up. Um, this is the connection to the OLED display. There is also a, an accelerometer here. I was thinking about making some of the programs reactive to motion, which I haven't gotten to uh, yet, but uh, it should work at some point. There are programming headers here, and then some digital and um, analog expansion ports, uh, because I have some ideas for other things I want to uh, be able to ho hook up to it. And then uh, this is the cable that goes to the LEDs. In terms of software, there are two main pieces of software here. Um, one is the software that runs on uh, each and every one of these uh, LED modules. Um, those each have a PIC12 processor. And I had to write some fairly low level software that uh, does the LED PWM, does all the serial protocol stuff. And the other piece of software is the software that uh, runs on the controller. It's a, a PIC24 microcontroller. And I've chosen to use a, a real-time operating system for this. Um, I've used FreeRTOS. There are um, two tasks that um, run at a pretty high frequency. One of them uh, deals with the LEDs, which is the highest priority. Um, and the other one handles the uh, GUI. Anything else I want to say? No, I think I'm good.